Hi, I'm Carol, uh, mainly Pilates, uh, Cuba. So, as a result of my hit at, um, workouts, I've had people ask me about knees, so knee injuries, but they haven't been diagnosed. Now, I can't diagnose, but I am qualified to treat um, conditions such as back problems, neck, shoulders, hips, knees, and um, hip replacements, knee replacements. So here's a very quick one you can do to strengthen the knee and these muscles coming into the knee, because if the knee is, is hurting and crying for help, if the stronger all the other muscles are, the better you stand. But if you have a bit of a bad knee that's not that bad, or that you haven't been rushing off to the doctors or the hospital, try this. So you can use a cushion um, or a yoga block. <clears throat> so lie the yoga block down. Yeah, keep her, you're in the way. Lie, yeah. lie the yoga block down, and now I'm putting all my weight. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Stay. I'm putting all the weight on down onto this yoga block. Sit up as straight as you can. Pull your toes back towards your face and lift under control the leg and lower it under control. If that's really easy, you could lift and hold for five and lower. So we're not dropping it down. If you drop it down, you're, you're wasting a bit of time there. So you want to control it up and control it down. So you can hold it for five. If that's really easy, you can turn the block and make it higher. Or, because I always ask you to do both sides, you can use something like this, anything, cushions, that um, could do both legs at the same time. So you can lean back and lift. <coughs> oh, sorry. Warts and all. That's what live videos do for you. And the reason you're pulling your feet back is because you're then getting a stretch down the back of the calf and the hamstring. So let me know when you've done some of those and then I will give you another exercise that's a bit more difficult.